that sounds gonna be really annoying and I'm gonna apologize in advance. Hey guys, my name is Lydia and I am recovering from an eating disorder and I've not posted in a while about my recovery, like a recent video that I filmed because I've been struggling a bit, quite a lot. So, I made a promise to my friend yesterday that I would make banana bread. We're not making any old banana bread, we're making banana bread that I have never made before. I have never made this banana bread, this particular one. I usually just shove it all in a bread maker, but today we're properly baking it. I have all my ingredients set out and we're going to get started. I have the recipe, I'm using the one from BBC Good Foods, I will show you it. This one, it looks like that. I don't have banana chips to put on top, but we're gonna try it anyway. So yeah, heat the oven, butter a two pound loaf tin, and line the base and slides with baking parchment. I have already washed my hands and tied my hair back. It's, this is quite scary for me, because over the past few weeks that I've been kind of going down a hole, I've got scared of touching grease, so. But if you don't have like a spare packet anywhere, you get it on a piece of kitchen roll, like quite a big bit, and then you just, I don't know, I don't know how to cook. Actually, I can cook, because all the meals that I make that you see on my Instagram, I actually do without a recipe, because I just have natural cooking abilities. But when it comes to baking, it's a story But there's no reason to be scared of this. Like, it's not even in my mouth. Why am I thinking that it's gonna seep through my pores? Like that's just not gonna happen, is it? But I've been struggling a bit recently. You may or not may not have been able to tell from the lack of uploads. Um, but I'm back. I, I am coming back. It's just every like recovery's not linear, is it? It's it's messy recovery. That's how I would describe ooh, describe because no one actually knows what they're doing. How are y'all doing? Seeing as I've not been around. Ooh! How are y'all doing? Because I ain't been around these parts much lately. Sorry about that. I told one of my close friends that I was struggling today and they seemed really angry at me because I've done this before. Like it's a cycle where I do really well and then suddenly everything's not okay again and I feel so bad about it. It's actually not funny. I haven't done baking in so long because like even when I was doing really well in my recovery, I was too scared to bake. So this is actually quite a big thing. I didn't quite realize that until this morning when I was like, oh, I have to bake today because I promised Isabella that I would bake. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> we're trying. I'm not the best baker. Like I would not do well on Bake Off, you know? I love Bake Off. But like, it's not on the BBC anymore. And I like have this weird loyalty to the BBC. Like I don't really like to watch anything that's not BBC. So, I can't just go over to ITV. I can't do that to my my main girl, the BBC. And like, honestly, these past few days that I've had, or like weeks, where I've just not been myself, really. I've not been, I've not been me. It caused a lot of arguments in my family. And I think it's that in particular, like the arguments, the feelings that like I've let everyone down because I said that I was actually gonna recover. And then to not do that is kind of mean to bring everyone's hopes up and then not do it. I feel it's really quite horrible. Like it's a horrible thing to do and I don't want to be a horrible person. Um, I feel like it's important now then that I do this to show people that I'm not a horrible person. That I am nice some of the time. Cream 140 grams of softened butter and 140 grams of caster sugar until light and fluffy. Then slowly add two beaten large eggs 
with a little of the 100 grams of flour. Okay, I'm just gonna do 140 grams of this. Because I don't have any pasta sugar, so I'm just gonna use normal granulate. Yeah, I just, I can't do that to people again. Like I've done it so many times before. And I literally, I had eight weeks of doing really, really well. And all the arguments just kind of reminded me why I'm recovering in the first place because those arguments are not fun and they weren't even arguments it was just like people were just being upset that I can't be happy and I really want to be happy so no I think I just need to realize in the past that I deserve to be as happy as anyone else why not you know I don't know when it cut off recording, but I've just added the eggs and a tiny bit of flour, and the mixture's looking a lot better. Back to your recovery, guys. Um, yeah, my recovery was not going so well. Hopefully, it goes a lot better now now that i am taking some active steps to actually do it because i don't want to let people down and also i don't want to really let myself down but that's just such a waste isn't it like what was the point in even like if i relapse now and i relapse how my eating disorder wants me to relapse then I'm just going to end up back where I started and then everything I did was going to be for nothing and I'm going to have to go through a demer again and I'm going to have to do this and this and this again. We don't, we don't want that. Now this is a lot easier to say than do, I'm not going to lie, but we're taking some steps. We're making banana bread, which is a massive thing for me. I can't believe I'm doing this and it's not my normal safe one. I don't know, it's not meant to be dough, is it? So. It's bread. <laughs> what does bread mixture look like? One teaspoon of baking powder and two mashed bananas. So I need to mash that. I have to try and get it in this tin now. This is going to represent how my recovery is going at the moment. Oh my days. Stick the parchment paper with a bit of a mixture onto Oh my god, that works. Look, this is this really does represent my recovery. You have a problem, you find some way out of it. Oh my god, I'm just... Yep. Stick that on there. There we go, I was correct, guys. You should listen to my wisdom. I'm just smart right now. I might try apple bread one day because I used to eat like apple cake. Number one, because I saw, what's his name and Pauline on Instagram. I can't remember the man's name. Jeffrey? I think it's Jeffrey and Pauline make apple bread. And I was like, it cut out recording again, so I'm not sure what you heard me actually say. Um, pretty much it's ready. I will leave the recipe for this in the description. It's BBC Good Food because I have a loyalty to BBC that is unquestioned. Oh, stay on there. Okay, we're just going to put this in for 30 minutes and see what comes out. And in those 30 minutes, I'm going to clean up. Uh, yeah, I'll probably time lapse me cleaning up. Okay, so the time has just gone. I just made myself a cup of green tea and like brought my schoolwork downstairs, but you know, life happens. So I'm gonna take it out. It looks pretty nice actually. I'm surprised. Surprised. Currently, what it looks like. Uh, I just closed the door. No. 
I'm gonna put that in for another good five minutes because no. That was definitely not ready. <laughs> Look how dirty the skewer just came out. Look, no. So I, whilst I was gone, I also made some kind of drizzle to go on top. I kind of want to make it lemony though, but no, it's not a lemon drizzle cake, Lydia. It is banana bread. So that is ready. I don't have banana chips to put on top. But now I'm gonna drink my green tea and do some schoolwork. So we're on to the last bit. It's been cooling now. This is what it looks like. Rizzle this on it. And hope for the best. So I'm gonna let that cool further. As I promised everyone would Isabella that I would do. I have got myself a slice of my banana bread. It's still slightly warm, which I like. I've got some icing on it. Uh, it looks like that. <laughs> and yeah, um, I'm gonna take my first bite. Mm. It's so hard. It tastes good though. Mm. That was good. I have this weird thing with my disorder where like I cut out food groups so I'm um, I've not had sugar or fat in like three or four weeks I forgot how good it tasted oh my god processed food it's not even processed is it I forgot that the world could taste like that done I did it I did it Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! If you did like this video, please remember to like and subscribe and put on post notifications on and follow my Instagram. It's very important. So all in the description, I promise, along with the recipe that I used, la la la. 